Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights over Arkham. Uh, this time in Chaos Magic, uh, we are building another deck by random. So I will be choosing a random hero with a random aspect and playing that deck against a random villain with the random modular sets for the encounter deck. So uh, last time uh, we didn't do that well in the uh, playthrough part of the Chaos Magic episode with Groot leadership. Uh, hopefully this time I will be playing a bit smarter and doing a bit better, but still I enjoyed that so much that I decided to make a new episode right away. So let's first see which hero we get. So we will randomize the hero. Okay, so Ant-Man leadership. Uh, Ant-Man leadership is mm, quite powerful. I think we'll do fine with that. But let's next see what villain we are up against. So... Uh, actually, I'm re-rolling that because last time I played the same scenario. So let's just re-roll. Okay, uh, we got Ultron on standard difficulty and the modular set is Anachronauts. So that is interesting. I'll build the decks and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the decks built. So we have Ultron in standard difficulty. Phases 1 and 2. Nothing special about this. There's the bit of cards. Wrong way around. Then, of course, the standard set. Nothing special in that. And the modular set is the Arnacro now. So, this is a quite tough modular set. So, looking forward to see how that changes the standard Ultron encounter. Of course, we have the here for Cassie in the deck and the Nemesis set in uh, out of play area. And then uh, we have Ant-Man, so I'll quickly put the decklist up so you can see the decklist first. So as per usual with the leadership decks, there are quite a few allies. Uh, I decided to go for quite um, cheap allies and uh, like good sporting allies like for example uh, Maria Hill Fury is a good sport Uber and uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales is a good sporter and uh, then of course there are the usual drone controls so Hawkeye and Squirrel Girl and uh, then I just wanted to try Lockjaw and Ironheart is always a good option. Then uh, the main mechanic I decided to go with is the Moxie build. So uh, we have three copies of Moxie, which uh, will be really powerful with uh, Ant-Man as Ant-Man likes to uh, change aspects. So uh, he will get a good boost from Moxie. Then uh, to further um, use my allies more to thwart or whatever. Uh, there are three copies of Inspiring Presence which will also heal the allies so they can do more. And of course team building, uh, team training is a staple card in leadership decks with a lot of allies to keep your allies around longer and for some interesting play with either Hawkeye or Nick Fury. There is one copy of Rapid Response. Uh, other than that, nothing really special in the deck. The usual um, uh, resource cards. Uh, I decided to try out one beat them up because uh, there will be a lot of drones, so I could just beat them up and uh, focus on the villain and not worry about the uh, 
uh, dr drones. But uh, usually the army of ants and stuff like that might be enough. But we'll see. So, back to looking at the cards. So, there are, of course, the uh, signature cards of Ant-Man, which are pretty good. There is a building uh, drone killing card here, and of course the army of ants is a powerful one. As uh, Wasp is also a really good ally, and Ant-Man's helmet is just really good. So, uh, of course, uh, resize will combo really well with the Moxies. So that is that. Then uh, we have the leadership cards. So we have the allies, uh, Spirit Girl, Alpha, and Mary Hill. Then we have a team training, uh, three copies of Moxie, uh, three copies of Inspiring Presence, and the Rapid Response. So, uh, Moxies will be really good with um, the resize, and Inspiring Presence will let us to a lot of neat stuff with the allies. So pretty simple, nothing really complex. And of course the basic cards, we have a lot of allies, Nick Fury, Lockjaw, Iron Heart, Spider-Man, uh, then we have the beat em up. This is a card I have not used yet, so I'm looking forward to seeing it in action. Uh, the power in all of us, the three basic uh, resource cards, uh, then we have end runs just to keep Ant-Man's health up so we don't have to go to Alter Ego at all and just heal with the helmet and stuff like that. Avengers Mansion, Heli Carrier and King Carrier will be our uh, cheapening cards. So, uh, quite simple deck. I'm hoping to ace the scenario. Uh, Ultron is a uh, hard scenario, but Ant-Man has so many tools to deal with the drones and uh, other stuff, so I don't see a big problem in this, but uh, you will never know. So uh, look forward to the, the gameplay video uh, coming later, so thanks for watching and until next time.